call me by my true name. This is Natty from the Tiger. I'm out here in Bangkok to get your questions answered by the people. This is the Vox Pop Christmas Edition, Voice of the People. Hi, what's your name and where are you from? I'm Louis from England. Chris, Italy. I'm French, Andy, my name. Andy. My name is Matthias Berger, I'm from Germany. My name is Ken from Chiang Mai. From Chiang Mai. Uh, my name is Ron, Ron Smornberg. I'm from Holland, but I live in Thailand 17 years. And how do you typically celebrate Christmas in your home country? Eating and uh, making presents and stay with family. Uh, family gathering. I've been in Chris Thailand for the last five Christmases. Eat a lot, drink a lot, eat a lot. I'm already an old man, so <laughs> normally I stay at home. I do not celebrate. No party at no this party. moment. With a tree. Christmas tree with the old man and the, and the baby, oh. Jesus Christ. Well, we have a Christmas tree. Um, to be honest, there's more about Christmas in Thailand than in Holland. Uh, like like in, uh, in the evening or with the lights and stuff. Uh, but we do it with family. Mostly family, we get some presents. And in Thailand, we, we don't really do it like, like that yet. So I think it's only fair that I should also answer my own questions. So traditionally, my house, because as you can tell, I'm Chinese, and instead of turkey, we would have duck for Christmas. So that's a weird tradition that we do at our house. I hope you guys are having a great Christmas so far. I'm really enjoying my Christmas holidays, and it's pretty packed here, as you can see. What is the weirdest gift you've ever given to someone? Ugly sweater. Ugly sweater. Who was that for? My uncle. Weirdest gift? Uh... No, I didn't do any weirdest gift. I, I hope everybody love it. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yes, I, oh, I always try to make something happy, which I know make them happy. I gave my sister a bag of dog food for Christmas oh. one because she was really annoying me. Yeah. Does she have any dogs? No. Sometimes I make uh, Japanese origami, you know, and then uh, put the word celebrate. Gold for a lady. The weirdest gift. Well, sometimes, that's especially Holland, we make, um, we make like a, a rhyme. So we write something about this person. And this can go really extreme because that time we can be honest. And you're going to hear some things you not always want to hear, but it's just like a small joke. Uh, and then you put some funny gift to it. It can be, we have, we have like marsupine. This is a candy. It can be anything. It can be like a poop. It, it, but you can eat it. Oh my gosh, that's so, fun. It's something like that. That's fun. So the weirdest gift I've ever given someone was my pet lab rat. It was white and her name was Judy. And when I gave it to someone, she was in a card box. And I gave it away because my mom didn't really want a rat in the house. And so yeah, hope that person liked my gift. Lab rat. And last question. If you had one wish for Thailand during Christmas, what would it be? that everybody can open the businesses again. Democracy. Give everybody peace. That they can manage COVID very well for the wave is coming. One Christmas wish. I wish that uh, everybody is healthy. That's the best thing. And that uh, we can live our normal lives. I want to come back exactly like was before, even better. I feel so sad for the people which really suffer. And I have so many friends die and I really, really, really feel for them. For everybody, but special Thai suffer very much. Thank you so much for joining With me. Love. Thank you, Ka. I'm sorry I made you miss your it's birthday. Okay. It's okay. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, we are now at the end of this episode. But before I go, I probably should address what my wish for Thailand would be for this Christmas as well. My wish is for Thais and non-Thais to be able to live harmoniously with each other. We can agree to disagree. I'm not telling that everybody should have the same opinions, but we should be able to respect each other because that's the only way to be. And with that, I'm going to end the episode here. If you're not already subscribed to The Tiger, please do so. Smash the like button and also click on the bell so you don't miss a single episode. Bye guys and have a Merry Christmas.